Oh yeah. Man's work. It's a good sign. Whew. Oh yeah. It's 800 degrees outside today. For December? All right. It's hot. In New Jersey, it's about 55 degrees. Actually, let's get an official temperature check of Mint Garage. It's about 50 degrees. Not bad for almost January. January next week. I opened this behemoth of a garage door. This is old, this is like 1920s, old wood. But hopefully soon we get Johnny's Prelude down here. We gotta get a shed so we can put all this crap in the shed. His car's at his parents' house and obviously my car's right here, so. Middle of doing the never ending axle. Literally just have to pop that nut off. I can pull a new axle in and she's good to go. I already repaired the harness, so, for the alternator. So that's, this is ready to go. I just, I need to get an inspection sticker too. So that's another problem. Yeah, I know this might sound literally insane, but if you take these steel brushes, you could break all this grease off the block and the trans. Look at that. It's insane. So much grease. Like this was never cleaned ever. Like how are you gonna get that motor that trans mount off ever? It's ruined now. Check this out. Probably hasn't been seen in years. Look how clean this got. Still a long way to go. The delivery man showed up. My friend has collected so many OEM parts and gaskets and we got the condenser now. I think this is the oil pan and this is another piece of something. But I figured since we had time, look how dirty that freaking air filter is. OEM Honda air filter. Damn, he bought this in 2017. Car needs more love than you expect. Go put this in. I already got the box off. Yeah. Put that in there. Closing it up, and these are shot, so I can't use any any screws anymore. Screws. New AC condenser. Current situation is these bolts that hold the bumper on are so just frozen in time. We're completely beat on that, unless we drill them out. You could reach that. This would be a great thing. Damn. Look at this. It's I've never like, seen anything like this in my life. Me neither. It's like ribbon. This is called 30-year-old Hondas. We're used to 20-year-old Hondas. All right, I'm gonna continue cl oh. leaning this crap off. why people get rust. Yeah. Can't even tell if you have rust. This is horrendous. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. So I'm gonna transfer all the hardware over. I mean, yeah, I'm about to do the same. I got clips and the new hoses because this isn't automatic, so we have to put them in. Well, people are gonna say, <sighs> bit, 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 you should not be having this on the ground. Buddy, listen. There's no fluid left in this, trust me. Not even that. It's, just that it's somewhere on the highway so somewhere. Whatever's on the ground here is most likely going to meet on the road, so. The bolt or nut inserts are in. Fittings are tightened down. I got the rubber boots on the condenser from the old one swapped over. That's all good. Allie cleaned it out, which is really not, nice. Not well, but. But it's better than honestly, what we're used to. Yeah. I mean, work, what we were working with before. Yeah, this is not my style. This is not definitely not our style. We're, we're more used to. Very. If I showed you the engine band of that thing. I know what it looks like. Um, well, not the people new to our channel. Oh, no, but thank you guys. If you guys are stumbling upon this video because you guys are interested in wagons, I appreciate it because this is a new embarkment for us. You know, we uh, are Honda Fit people. We, Honda Preludes and Honda Accords, but we don't have an Accord in this shot right now. But now we have a wagon, so 
more wagon stuff to come because people love the wagons. I want to drive this thing, so it better be running, guys. Yeah. Let's shield your eyes from the oil. <laughs> it doesn't smoke. Does it smell burned? Yeah. No, it doesn't. That was a little bit. Allie, as worst case scenario freak. Uh oh. <laughs> Remember, the car's pitched back. It is, it is, it is, but. We need to change this oil, which means we have to change the oil pan because the bolt is stripped. That means we need to disconnect the, fucking head. the coupler drive shaft because it's real time four wheel drive. All right, so let's get back to her throwing that away. Let's get the, well, <laughs> I got confused. Let's get the new condenser in, the radiator in, put it all back up and let's drive it. Got the condenser in and the AC line. It's like weird. I know. He's like. I hate these fucking lines. Condensers in. I know this is the big no-no. People don't like putting tools in the engine bay. But I don't like to it's do it. it's easy reach for me while I'm working on the car. So, Ali's buttoning up the bumper back on. It's really hard to do with EFs. There's like a thousand mystery bolts. A thousand mystery, but these are none of these are OEM bolts. And um. I gotta run out and get hose clamps for the lower trans lines and the upper rad hose. You need one right there, so you need that little guy. All right, so I'm gonna run out and do that right now. Okay, lights are on now. I'm back to getting the hose clamps and everything like that. Got trans lines bolted up to the new radiator. Allie's working on getting the most annoying part of the job. What's not the most annoying with the fan onto the new radiator and we'll be able to throw this in. Oh, we got tight. Yeah. 12. All right, she started up. We got the condenser, the rad. We got some fluid in it. It already sucked it down. I gotta add more. We're not leaking anywhere. No leaks. Yeah, get a fresh one in front of it. It's, starting, it's gonna start coming out a lot more. She's getting warmer. All right, still waiting. Oh yeah, fans work. It's a good sign. It worked. Has to cycle twice. Yeah, I know. The little, this one's kind of obviously so. When the second one kicks on, we'll throw on the heat. She's still idling great. Give us a little noise. Stop it. It's probably like, whoo. Probably sounds terrible, actually. I'm turning the light on in here, but the light is so bad. I got the LED in there. Um, yeah, so I can't really see, but I got, I got heat for the first time because it, this car didn't have heat before, I guess because all the cooling issues. Can someone tell me if I have an OEM radio or not? I don't think it's supposed to be this color, to be honest. Yeah. 1990 Civic Wagon. <laughs> Crank that window up. Come on, he hasn't done this in his life, I don't think. Even the Monty, she's 86, she has automatic windows. Um, what? It is burning hot in here. Perfect, turn it off. Let's go eat. Look at the prelude. She's so neglected. The prelude on Jack Sands is still not taller than the wagon. Whoa! What? Scared me. We're calling it. All right. Radiator, hoses, overflow tank was fine. But we also did a T-stat. So next will be four tires, then we'll do the oil pan, the gasket, do the oil change, because apparently the, the drain plug is like 
crushed in there now and then it's like stripped and ruined. All right, and then we can do the floor lock. We gotta do those locks. The what? The locks. I just crossed some more stuff off the list. Till next time and Merry Christmas.